Welcome to my channel, where there are interesting and equally sensational stories. Listen to today's story. Who else likes spring cleaning? It's that time of year again, and that means we get to cut out some weeds. And in some cases, that means friends. Today on our space, we learn to choose our friends wisely. Up first, a fake friend with the worst intentions. My 25 female, husband's 28 male friend, 28 female, told him that I'm cheating on him and that it is best to open our relationship that she could help us. It all started a few weeks ago when we were having dinner with some friends, and one of them in particular began to joke that after 13 years together, surely one of us already got bored of the other. And Kai, 28 female, said that surely, the one who got bored first was me, 25 female, because I'm the attractive one in the relationship. And I know that it affected my husband, 28 male, because that night, he joked that he was actually lucky that I paid attention to him, but I thought at the moment that he would just forget about it. But he didn't. He started asking me all the time if I love him, if I'm happy with him, if I would change something about our relationship and things like that. And yesterday, while we were talking about it, I told him that I would not change him for anything or anyone, and he started crying, which was really weird because he rarely cries. And I didn't like seeing him like this, so I spoke with his sister with whom he is really close. She told me that for weeks, one of our friends has been telling him that he should prepare for the day that I cheat on him or leave him and she also told him that she thinks I'm already seeing someone else, that if he wants it to be less painful for him, it's best to open the relationship, that if he wants she and her boyfriend can help us open our marriage since it would be easier because we both know them. That this will help us because we will be able to experiment with more people, and I will not get bored of him. He will also be able to have fun with her, like the lifelong friends they are. According to his sister, he told her that he hates those things, but if I want to do it, he will let me experiment with more people. And to be honest, I hate everything that has to do with open relationships too. If you like it, great. But it's not my thing. And I thought that I was always clear with that. That's why I don't even know why that friend said that. She has an open relationship but she was never one of those people who wants everyone to be like them. She used to respect us, so I don't know what happened. How can I make him understand that she lied about me? Because probably just wants to sleep with him. Let's see what kind of advice the community has for this one. My box 3852 starts us off. She's saying all of it because it's a power trip. She's jealous of you and wants to hurt you by showing you she can get with your husband. Talk to your husband. Tell him you know what she's been saying and that you are hurt, disgusted, and betrayed by her behavior. Calmly and gently tell him his doubts in you and your commitment hurt. That you mean it when you tell him he is the love of your life, and you meant your vows. If he meant his, he goes no contact with his horrible friend now. That you feel a bit betrayed that he didn't immediately talk to you when she started manipulating him and trying to brainwash him to destroy his marriage. Block now, and she does not deserve an explanation. The next opinion comes from Mick Kittenman. Um, sounds like you need a new group of friends because I have no idea why you're still entertaining them. And when you take your exit, you should punch whomever it is in the face for putting those accusations out there. Chokes aside. Don't know how you could maintain a friendship with these types of people who throw your dang marriage into a spiral. Would not even be a second thought to me they're out of my life for good if they're making false accusations against me. Yikes. She doesn't sound like a friend at all. She definitely has ulterior motives. I think those comments are all valid. These people aren't your friends. I think having a conversation with your partner is super important right now. Update. I, 25 female, talked to my husband, 29 male, and he told me everything she, 28th female, told him, apparently, she's been telling him for months that he is not attractive enough to keep me for long, that love is not everything, and that looks are important to everyone and that people who say they don't care about beauty are lying. And that pissed me off so much because for me, my husband is really beautiful, and I love him more than anyone in this world. If it wasn't like that, I wouldn't have been with him for 13 years, and she knows that. 
And the worst part is, my husband believed her because she destroyed his self-esteem with all those things that are not true just because she wanted to sleep with him and one of her partners. I think she said he's in his late forties or something with me, or at least that's what she said. She has two boyfriends or whatever, and one of them apparently knows me. I don't know how because we never met him. And he told her that he would like to know if he could have a chance with me that's why she's been messing with my husband's mind all these months. That's what she told us when we confronted her. She also admitted that she likes my husband, not romantically, but physically, and that's why she also wanted to convince him to sleep with her because she has liked him for years. Honestly, I don't understand anything about the world of having two or more partners, and I'm not interested anything either. I just know that I find it disgusting. If you want to have her harem, that's up to you. Personally, I don't want that I find it disgusting that they don't understand it. Like, respect to people that don't like that. Is that so difficult to understand? She apologized many times, but my husband didn't forgive her, and I don't intend to forgive her either. She behaved like an idiot, and it is impossible for her to win back our trust. On the other hand, my husband and I are fine. Of course, we had a lot of talks about what happened these last few weeks and about our relationship, but we are fine. And that's all that matters to me. That our little family as well for us and for our children. Let's see what some of the relevant comments have to say. Mullivan Stupp says. What absolute trash that woman is. Just a bio monster. Neither of you should have anything to do with her ever again. And frankly, I think you should warn every single mutual friend that she's a piece of crap who tries to destroy hearts and minds deliberately. EOP replies. We've cut her off and have no plans to have anything to do with her again. Also, we've talked to mutual friends to let them know we don't want her to do the same to anyone else. A type self says, predatory people exist in all walks of life. That ex-friend is a predator. She objectified both parties and set out to manipulate them to get her way. Obviously, she was pining after the man for years, which is weird since she thinks he is so much lower than op and set out to destroy a marriage in a person to get what she wanted. She probably showed OP's photo to the boyfriend to get him to go along with it. Predators suck. Shame on her for saying those things to your husband and causing such emotional damage. I'm so sorry, OP. It seems like she was very jealous of the relationship that the two of you have and couldn't stand seeing two people happy. She wanted a piece of it for herself. I'm glad you decided to part ways and let others know who she really is. What a truly conniving and unhappy woman to want to ruin something so beautiful like a relationship that you and your husband have. What are your thoughts? Up next, two run little eggs, threaten a harmonious friend group. Homewrecking Bridesmaid? Hi, guys. I would like some advice about a situation with one of my bridesmaids. One of my bridesmaids has been messing around with a married man, who I am also friends with him and his wife. His wife is pregnant, and the two of them already have a small child. My bridesmaid has a fiancé ex now for obvious reasons, who I'm also friends with. So literally all parties involved I am friends with and have been friends with for years. I obviously do not condone her actions, and I'm absolutely disgusted and disappointed with her actions as well as the married man. I know they are both at fault. I can't be friends with either of them now. Their morals do not align with mine. I need advice on how to break up with her as a friend and fire her as a bridesmaid. Please help. I ask to meet up with her tomorrow to talk about the situation in person. I'll update with how it goes as well. The op adds I should probably add to this. Her ex had texted me yesterday asking for advice. I then immediately texted her like, Hey, is everything okay? Why does let's call him Anthony? One advice about. And then she confesses to me that she's kissed our married friend a few times, the last few months of last year. I was shocked, so I didn't reply. Anthony calls my fiancé and I, and we're on the phone for almost two hours with him as he's telling us that he's seen some sort of sex app on her phone. Where they both have vibrators and can control them from that app. He then goes through her text chat with our married friend and sees that she has sent him the invite or whatever to her vibrator. 
She literally bought those vibrators for herself and the married man. Also, she had his name on the app under daddy so he confronts her about it immediately and ends their engagement. So she lied when she said it was just a few kisses. How does kissing go from that to sex toys? The advice he wanted to ask about was if he should tell the pregnant wife, which I agreed he should, of course, and if he didn't, then I would. He plans on telling her tomorrow. Also, my bridesmaid lives an hour away. She'll still drive up to her and see her and tell her in person or should I just text this all? It's probably more mature to do this in person, but she isn't mature either messing with a married man. When literally attended their wedding last July and she was kissing her but calling her pretty and gorgeous, don't get me wrong. She absolutely is. But how are you going to compliment this girl and then go around getting sex toys for you and her husband? I'm just so disgusted. Update. Okay. So I took some advice from other users on here and just messaged her. She lives pretty far from me, so I think this was a good idea. I messaged her pretty much what I said in the op and added in some things that others here said as well. I wish I could post the screenshots, but this was my first post on Reddit and I'm still not really sure how to let alone use all the features. After texting her, I immediately blocked her on everything. I also messaged our married friend she had the affair with and blocked him on everything as well. When my fiancé and I were on the phone with her ex last night, he told us that he wanted to be the first person to tell the pregnant wife. So I'm going to respect his wishes and let him tell her first. Thank you all for helping me out and giving me the courage to do this. As a person who has a diagnosed anxiety disorder, I'm absolutely afraid of confrontation and addressing issues. So I appreciate the people who have given me advice. Good thing is that the wedding isn't until October, and we're not sending save the dates until the beginning of April. So although the situation is completely crappy, it could not have come at a better time. Had not invested anything into the wedding other than agreeing to be a part of it. Yeah. I think you made the right choice about not including her in the wedding. You have every right to cut people out like that. Life is too short to surround yourself with people like that. It's disgusting to know that that was happening within the friend group. And worst part is, if you didn't know about the cheating, you would have had to pay for her to attend the wedding reception, etc. No, thanks. Moreover, it's nice that Anthony had people he felt he could talk to. In that sense, you had a great little community of friends. Continue to keep the good ones around. Keep cutting the weeds. Thoughts? Thank you for joining us today on our space. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. We'd hate for you to miss even one. If you want to listen to more stories from me, check out our lounge where I feature a larger variety of non-cheating related stories. See you there.